This is some pewter that I acquired uh, in one of my latest uh, thrifting endeavors from my uh, local area here. I melt down pewter and use it in uh, various projects and that's what I'm going to show you in this video is how I uh, process my pewter into ingots. Before processing I always check to make sure I'm actually using uh, real pewter. Uh, most pewter is actually marked and it'll say pewter on it so it's fairly easy. Um, here are just some of the stamps that you'll see on pewter objects. The melting pots I use are uh, fairly small, so one of the first things I have to do is get things down into some manageable sizes so that I can actually melt them in the, the pot. Here's a piece that uh, I had to use a, a, a small bandsaw to cut in half. I, I could have smashed it with a hammer or, or a sledge or something and done it that way as well. To further uh, uh, shrink the size a bit so it'll fit in my pot as I, I bend it around. Pewter's pretty easy to bend, so you can do this easily. If you can't do it, it's a good chance it's not pewter. Well, there are many, many ways of uh, processing your pewter or getting it ready to melt. One uh, one way that I like to use. It's a little overkill. This is a 20-ton press with a pneumatic control. As you can see, it does short order. It's just fun. Uh-oh. Give it a little tap. And there we go. Here's another piece that I flatten with a sledgehammer. I'm uh, going to cut it into some strips to make it easy to uh, melt. This is just a little Proxon bench uh, with a, a bandsaw with a, a bimetal blade, but this is soft enough that you can even cut it with a woodworking blade. Just be careful and make sure you wear eye protection if you're doing something like this. Got to get rid of that spout. I'll go on to say that um, there are other ways of, of dealing with the um, large pewter pieces. I try to break them down a little bit, as, or as much as I can at first, but this baby's gonna have to be uh, pounded flat before I can get it into the saw. Once I get it to a certain point, I can take it back to the saw and cut it in half or into strips. I pretty much just keep working it down until I know I got it to a size that'll fit into one of my pots. And uh, here's my haul. So the next step is to start the uh, melting process. To melt the processed pewter, I'll be using this Lee Production Pot 4. 
The Lee manual strictly states not to melt pewter in their melting pot, so do that at your own risk. This particular uh, pot has been modified so it can be controlled by a PID controller. I set the PID to 600 degrees Fahrenheit and once the pot comes to temp I start feeding it uh, the processed uh, pewter. Note that as you feed large pieces in it will uh, potentially cool down the, the molten pewter and so you may have to wait for it to come back up to temp. This is a pretty small pot. Uh, I have a larger pot but I, I leave that dedicated to actual lead um, and this one I dedicate to processing pewter. Once my pot gets to about three quarters full, I start dispensing some of the uh, pewter into ingots using uh, one of my molds. This uh, particular pot is a pretty slow pourer. I ended up with about 9.9 uh, .9 pounds of pewter ingots. I'll be using these in future projects on the website. So be sure to visit my uh, Bread and Ammo website for more information. Till next time.